Y'all want to know what happened in Watch Dogs 2? This. How much of this is hyperbole? Has it really gone global? There are new dead sex cells popping up everywhere. The Middle East, South America, Europe. And not just them. We can't even keep up with all the new hacktivist groups. All right. Make the call. You sure? Do it. Y'all know what's going to happen in Watch Dogs Legion? That'll be coming up real soon. Instead, you know what's going to happen right now? You, subscribing, and enjoying this video. I got the permadeath on. And I got the start game activated. Oh. Ah, oh, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theater, and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. And that, kids, is what we call terrorism. Man, look at this city. This looks like the place where the Jetsons would live. Just, like, take the flying cars out of the equation. Status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Oh no. See, they catch you in this. Awesome, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bentley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let's sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. Okay, then. Okay. Let me try. I'm gonna sneak around. Hold on. That's the crowd, all right? Okay. Hurt you more than it hurt me. Nah, I think he's dead. Hold up. Their profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. <sighs> Ghosts in this system. Ah, okay. Okay, hold up. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Bro, I swear. Why does it... Because I know you can do that. Hold up. Like, why is it that it feels like it's a Fast and Furious mood? Like a whole... Wait a minute. It feels like it's a whole Fast and Furious mission or something like that. This is Fast and Furious remake of the game. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hold up. It looks something like Fast and Furious. Okay. Ah, this is gonna be a little thing we're doing, huh? Right. Well, I think I am. That's kind of rude. Say that you're. Say that I'm not. Okay. okay. Is there only one guard? Oh no, there's two. I don't know where to go. Try taking this dude out. Well, okay. 
You punched her in the spine. <laughs> yeah, punched her in the spine, man. Jesus. Oh, all right. Yeah, my bad if it lags, because I don't know how good this is. Gotcha. Didn't see that coming. I don't know why I keep going to their profiles. Their profiles are encrypted. I can't do anything about it. Ah, yes. All right, then. Same moves every time. They've got loads of dead set gear down here. Now, why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like DedSec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. My thing is... Who are these men in black, anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Okay. Got it, I got it, I got it. Mm. Oh... The thing is that we don't even have a mask. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged low. Jesus, those canisters. Badly as that. RDX nitrogen, enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. I got him. want to see. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. You walk over there. Look out. <laughs> Alright, where am I supposed to go? Okay. I'm Mr. Sneaky. <laughs> Probably not, but okay, I'll try. <laughs> so our key thing to do is to find a detonator. propaganda all around the bombs these pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us not if you get to that detonator first okay first can we just address that he broke that guy's spine literally went silent like you heard that crack right FBI open up. Looking. <laughs> right in the House of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. Check around just in case. They can sneak at they can sneak around at any moment. They can. That's a fact. I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. 
company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. Yo. Oh. Oh, nah. Oh, they roaming, roaming. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Okay, Pyro from TF2. Got him. Tell me you're close. I'm through security. Now waiting through terabytes of decoy code looking for the destination sequence. Oh! They weren't ready for that one. Where they at? They aren't here. Ah, they got more coming this way. That's not. Got him. Hold up. Got him. I got him. Oh, this is like, oh my God. This is next level third person shooter. I got him. Hold up. Just lay down. Oh, I didn't know there was one right there. My bad. Problem, Dalton. I need your physical appendages now. Gotcha. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. This gets me blown up. Bombs diffused. But wait. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? That's not easy. Ugly, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> Snap. Whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Oh, no. Nah. Hold up. Oh! Sabine! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Okay, then. That's something to... Wow, that's something to wake you Sabine, up. What's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. A protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I'm making sure. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... Y it won't. I'll see you at the rally point. Okay, hold on. I promise. Good luck. I believe that I've practiced this before. Hey! I knew they were waiting. I knew they were waiting. I knew they were waiting. There's one behind the door. Hold on. I found something. Put a stop to 
There was one behind the door and I was... Got him! Hold up, how are you just gonna pull out a rifle? I'm bad at aiming. <laughs> I'm bad at aiming. Can I? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try something. Got him. Yeah. Don't do that to me. Don't mess with me. All right. Press Y, not R B. Not left B. Not. <laughs> I'm bad at controllers. <laughs> Excuse me, what? The fuck are you? Oh, you still think you're here to save London? I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You're here to help us with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. <laughs> you do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh. Oh no. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Oh, how are you gonna kill him like that? Yo, how are you going to kill them like that, though? A series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser and Dowling Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set terrorist groups responsible for their work. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning to would-be Jesus. ...are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution. Enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. A long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, this drug dude, trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment. Big news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by yeah. foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group dead set were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts any other story. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. This... This is tripping me out. What? Hold up. What's going on? I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. 
Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. Uh, okay. Guess I'm hijacking. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown him in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Toe! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just Hold framing up. DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you okay. next. What do you make of all this? I think of everything. DedSec showed their true colors. It's terrifying to think we harbored such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Yo. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared. Harness us with, with mind oh. control. Suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even in death they'll sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, yeah. and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the truth along with me. Next week, Buccaneer Radio will be diving into the Albion Corporation. Just who are these men and women being paid lucrative amounts for the city's defense? Are they protecting us? Protecting London? Or someone else's interests? See you next week, fellow pirates. Claire Waters, out. Okay, let's address something here. Look at this city. Look at it. Look at it right now. Like, I'm looking at it right now. It's very big. They did a good job with the map. Let me hack this. There's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can choose my character. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. We got a bouncer. We have a rugby player. Okay. Uh, obviously, I would choose the one with a gun, but I want to see. We got a landlord. Okay. We have a podcaster. All right. I mean, it seems all right for a podcaster. Hold up. I'm trying to go through all of these. We have a activist. Okay. Suits the profile. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. The developer. Um, I don't know. Okay. Talent agent. Jesus. You know what I got to do? You know what I gotta do. Hold on. I have to find it. I have to find it. I have to find him. There's a mechanic. Okay. Okay, so there's... Like, that's... Okay, that's how much we can pick. We can pick, like... We can pick... God, I can't count. A few moments later. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with the bouncer. Since he has a weapon, I'm gonna go with the bouncer. Yes. 
I'm going with the bouncer since, you know, he has the gun. And it makes more sense. And it makes it a lot easier for me to kill somebody. <laughs> like, kill one of my enemies. I hope you know that. <laughs> Literally anyone when they see the cops running by. I wouldn't blame them. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. Okay. Hold up. Need to check something out. Okay. Wait, why did I press back? Hold up. My bad. Still confused with the controls. Okay. That's the podcast. We don't need that. Let's go here. Well. This is a very cloudy map. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Okay. Wait, excuse me? There's an auto drive? Wait a minute, hold up. I gotta test this out. I gotta test this out. Auto drive now enabled. Oh! Hoo -hoo! This is nice. This is nice. I like this. That way I won't have to mess up my car and I won't have to. Yeah, I won't have to do any of that. But I would have to do this though. Alright, I can't control cars. Well then, that's something. I can disable. Wait, yeah, I can disable it by driving again. But I don't want to drive. This is the easiest way to drive. Easiest way to get around. Like if you're doing something on like, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna do this. Auto drive now disabled. Like if you're doing something, like if you're um, like if you get a text or something, you can just put this thing in auto drive. I swear, this takes place in the dystopian future of London. Of course it would do that. <clears throat> this is why I put it in auto drive. This is exactly why. <laughs> okay, there we go. I had to press A again. Okay, so when you're not moving, when you're when the car is not in motion, you have to press A. And yeah, <laughs> auto drive. But this game is clean. I'm not gonna lie, this game is clean. Ubisoft really went all out on this. Right here. Perfectly parked. <laughs> Don't mind me, I just recklessly parked my car on the sidewalk. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Secret passages and hidden bases. Oh, I fucking missed this shite. Did you really? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hold up. Hola. How are you? Doing good? One of Sabine's, are ya? I'll see you downstairs later then. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Is it coming from here? Open sesame. I swear that is an alarm and I don't like that. I don't like the fact that that's an alarm. Okay. Anyone around? Guess not. Let's find the power then. Again, it may lag because I don't know why, but it lags. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do this. No dead tech registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. And you'll have to explain my untimely demise to Sabine. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. 
I'm Fagley. DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Yeah, sure, you're definitely not gonna take over the world and destroy it. Ha ha ha! It. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. That's well. the shape of it. What I want to know is if it wasn't DedSec who did the bombings, who was it? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about. <laughs> Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Okay. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as the Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Christ. How did you make it out? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. DedSec is about as popular as the plague these days. <laughs> Look, you know what they're waiting for you, but fucking hell. Sabine, that's a lot to ask. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Fuck it. There's fate's worse than death. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. That's some very cinematic mess going on right there. I don't know what's going on there. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. Wait. I have a gun. But okay, I'll take that. What? Hold up. Tech points. Tech points can... Tech weights can be found throughout London. Use them to purchase tech upgrades. Gadgets and weapons. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking all that. But I don't have any tech points. Oh, now I do. I just saw it. Okay. So, I hear the spider is more useful. How much does it... How much do we have? Like, do we only have 10, or do we have... Yeah, we only have 10! How is... <laughs> I hear the spider's, like, more useful, but then again, the AR cloak... I have no idea. Like, I don't know. Yeah, choices. You know what? For this one, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go for the spider. I have zero. I can get that at later. Okay. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> but I'm gonna figure it out. Oh! Yes. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. Look. They said mask, so yeah. Wear your masks, people. Jesus. Let's actually find one. I said find one. 
Wrong kind of mask. I real I really thought. Ah, okay. It's understandable. I really like this one. So I'm gonna get this one. Yes. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DeadSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old dead set contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. Hmm. You know, that actually has some good information. I'll just back down. Could use the warm up. Just use a gun as a last resort. If they start shooting at me for no reason, then yeah, sure, I'll just. You know, pop a couple in their heads. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. <laughs> Couldn't have done that better myself. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't have done that better myself. Okay. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. <laughs> nice one. Yes. Nice one. Okay. Come on, another one. Give me another one. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Okay, I didn't know you were gonna. Okay, gotcha. They got a new combat system in these. Come on, come on. Okay, come on. You can do it. I didn't expect that, and it was unexpected. Couldn't have done that better myself. I got you. Okay, ow. Come on, come on. Hit me. Come on. Hit me. Gotcha. Now we gotta combat that, I guess? Combo that, I guess. I don't know. I like how they got a new combat system, though. Okay. Okay. Come on, help her up. <laughs> Dang, man. Literally just John Wicked her to the floor. <laughs> no, sorry, not John Wick. Just like roundhouse kicked her to the floor. Gear in order. Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero's day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. Okay, then. I mean, it's only me on the team, so yeah, gotcha. I gotcha there. All right, let's do this. What's the plan, boss? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. How does trick of the authoritarian handbook make people afraid enough and they please themselves? So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll 
will need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? You know I am. Let's loot this motherfucker up. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Okay. Squad goals. I don't know how... Okay. Not a spark. Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go... Oh, I'm supposed to do two of these. All right. So I'm gonna do the obviously one, the obvious one that's actually closer. Still driving, still driving. Hey, I can control vehicles now. Get over there! I hope nobody was over there that I murdered them. So I have to take like extreme measures and stuff like, you know, I have to breathe up scenarios and just, like every mission is gonna take time. So I might just jump cut that. How are you just going to ram into my car like that? Wait a minute. We are there. You have reached your destination. Huh. Sounds like an actual GPS and I appreciate that. My bad. I ran into the wall. <laughs> And into the wall. Wait, hold up. Can I get in from over here? Yeah, probably. Let me see. Yeah, I can. Nice. Oh. Okay, I thought the game froze for a minute. I thought the game froze for a minute. I got scared. Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Suppose the tracks that they've taken over the courts. They throw everyone who crosses them in a cage. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I kind of wish I could go invisible. <laughs> so yeah, this brings me to the point where I regret doing this. Am I? Get this muck out of my head. Got him. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Hitman 2. And it probably is. No, it isn't. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. So I have another plan. You already know what time it is. It's time for the spider. Can I? Why would I? Why did you... I just threw it against the wall? Oh, it can go invisible. Okay. I see what it is now. It can go invisible. And I won't have to worry about doing it myself. Aha. I keep forgetting how to vault over stuff. Like, vaulting. It's very easy to forget. Because, you like, in the last game, you would use like RT to vault so yeah that's how that's how difficult it is I'm gonna get out of here and nope there is one more thing that I gotta do I keep what have we got buggy a list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a oh, journalist, no. and this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. I don't know why, but this strangely... Nah, I'm not gonna say it. I think you guys know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just self-drive. Like, I'm gonna drive all the way over here, man, because... 
Yeah. My bad. Didn't mean to. <laughs> I like how I, I like how I honked, and then I ran over a bus stop. <laughs> The door wasn't open, in case if you're wondering. Jesus Christ, it's like Secret Agent 47 over here. It's like I'm running with an agent. Okay, I can just... I'm like that. Since, you know, A is used to vault, I kind of figured it out. Like, you know, A is used for vault. Let me see this. Time to get that. Need 10. Neat. Okay, now how to... Oh, okay. There's a way over here. I keep forgetting. Like, the parkour mechanics? Like, I'm not trying to be a game critic over here, but they're good. Just like... Ugh. Where is it? There it is. Watch this. Digital graffiti time. Better yet, billboard hacking. Facts. Y'all just need to see. I was about to jump off this building. <laughs> and that is my bad. I was actually about to jump off of this building. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What now? <sighs> okay. We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out, and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Send me the location. I... okay. <laughs> I'm gonna steal another car. Let's get... let's get this one. This one's more suiting. Okay. Let's just self drive this time. Like, I want to self drive. Auto drive now enabled. Yeah, auto drive. That's what I meant. I don't know why I said self drive, but it just popped into my head as if, yeah, you know, self drive, not auto drive. Auto, like, auto drive. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's auto drive. <laughs> that's, uh, I can't grab her today. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Just gonna park my car on the sidewalk right there. Hopefully nobody minds. Talk about this. Let's talk to this journalist though. What's going on, man? Heard you need help. What can I do? Your recruit's been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. Yeah, agreed. Tyranny isn't an idea. It's an institution. Boots, paper, plumbing. We tear down Albion. We make room for something better. So what do you have? Almost got clipped finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. <laughs> Fucking right. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics center. Materials troops whatever a lot of it runs through there you want to give the people a huge boost hit that place put it out of commission and you'll severely hamstring albion's operations here in camden hell everywhere that's the move then okay so this turns out to be a full-fledged hitman operation <laughs> but you know who's up for it this guy up for almost getting killed yeah it's a great turnout. Not really great, as if. Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? 
Albion's housed a massive hybrid power generator in there. Output must be immense. You cause a power surge in that base and boom. Thought this was closed to the public. How do you know all this? It cost me a noob oh. strike. Okay, maybe three. But it's worth it if this comes off, right? I didn't even know this was here. I really didn't. I didn't know it was there. I thought it was somewhere far. Wait, is it? Yeah, we're close by to it. Okay, so I guess I could just walk over there. Or run. What's you know. Happening? Nothing's happening. Don't worry about it. No no crime here. Ooh wee, no crime here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm definitely not planning a secret operation to, you know, take down a uh an oppressing a th like security outlet or whatever it's called. <laughs> Get into that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. Any ideas? My news drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Okay, let's see, let's see. There's a news drone right there. Uh, right there, actually. A few moments later. Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasty. We're going to need detailed specifications. Let's get nosy then. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Wait a minute. Stay down. Let's wait. Bam, okay. Now I can get over there. Let me hurry up before these chones do that. Yeah, check this out. Cool, looks bloody complicated. nosy has got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. Okay. Let's hope that my drone doesn't get shot down. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get it. Ah, come on. There we go. Ah. So I have to stay over here. Okay. Understandable. Losing connection. Where? Oh. Well then, this is just, uh, interesting, you know? That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. It should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. Oh, okay. Lag. Told you. Updating facial recognition software. Ah. Here we go. I knew it was gonna happen. out of St. Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up, borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. Okay. This sounds like a movie intro or something like that. <laughs> That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thanks. Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. Grand. Appreciate any leads you can send us. Glad we got that figured out. Borough Uprising Rewards. Uh, okay. Dead Sex Support. Uh, tech Points. Uh, skilled Recruits. Uh, okay. 
Skilled recruits as in using a nail gun to nail somebody in the head. <laughs> Pun intended. have been a tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. What is it? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the bleeding edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. Ah. Okay. So where's that? That is down the street from where I'm at, or around the corner. I don't know. But yeah, man, I might actually do that mission next video, cause you know, the whole starting sequence took more than just the time. But other than that, this game is actually really crisp. Like graphics and the story so far, it's really crisp. I like it. Like you know. The gameplay is like a little, it, little, it needs some, like I need to get a little bit more used to it, a little bit more familiar around the gameplay, but, you know, around the controls and stuff, but, you know, other than that, it's crisp, it's a crisp 8. <laughs> Sound like I'm reading a whole thing. I'm not a, I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a game reviewer, I'm just a gamer, alright? Not a game reviewer, but, yeah, hope you guys like this thing that I play. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll probably see you guys in the next video, so, uh, peace!